Oh, she's gonna get spooled. Good job. Welcome back, everybody. As you can see, we're outside of Cabela's, which means one thing, we're gonna be doing a challenge today. And to me, it seems like you're not an actual YouTuber until you do the kids fishing rod challenge. So as you can see, the weather is not cooperating with us very well, but me and Callie are up to the challenge. I'm gonna challenge her to see who can catch the most amount of fish with a course of kids fishing rod. The best thing is after we're done this challenge, we're gonna go find some kids to give uh, the fishing rods to. That's the best part of the video in general. But yeah, we need to hurry up. We need to get into Cabela's, pick our weapons, get on the road, get on the water and get on the fish. Well, we have made it. This is Sugar Island. It pretty much goes probably another seven, 800 feet that way, all the way to the end of there. We're gonna have this whole section here to fish. Callie, show them which rod you got. I have the My Little Pony rod because I had My Little Pony when I was a kid and that was a long time ago and it's still around. So that's why I picked this one. She picked that because she's old and I, I picked this because I'm new and hip trying to keep up with the trends, so I got Paw Patrol. This thing is supposed to come with a six pound line, 3.1 to one gear ratio. I guess we're gonna test out the drag on this thing, but uh, yeah, we're not replacing anything other than just basically hooks. Uh, hooks, we're gonna use whatever we have, so I'll get everything all set up. We'll get our, uh, our rods all set up, and then on the count of three, we're gonna drop them. Also, it's been about maybe 20 years since I've used a spin cast reel, so. Uh... Don't know if I remember how. <laughs> yeah, no one said it wasn't gonna be interesting. Oh, this drag actually. Oh, this is gonna be interesting. Not only have I not used a uh, reel like this in a long time, I also haven't used one with straight monofilament. So that's gonna be the next challenge. And I'm gonna put the uh, live scope cam on. Like I said, during live scope cam, I've done this every single time I've gone out but I've yet to get a really, really good picture on it, so. All right, let's try to figure out how to use this thing. Okay, so I want more drag. Oh. You don't wanna to go too much drag though either, cause uh, it's a light line. <laughs> you don't have a lot of play in that drag. Like it's like full or nothing. <laughs> Did you put yours in already? Oh yeah, sorry. No, you're not supposed to get it out of there. I was trying to figure out how to use this. Okay, here we go. Go ahead, let the games begin. So what are we doing? Just most amount of fish. Most, okay. Not longest. I feel like they're setting kids up for failure, but <laughs> we use rods. Such light bites. Oh! Did I get it, did I get it? I got her. Oh, and it's a it's perch! A perch. <laughs> First one for the good guys. Well, that would be why they're biting the way they are. Perch, got it. <laughs> so graceful. Thinking like I was gonna be cold all day. Get it, Callie. Oh, you got it. Oh, oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. <laughs> She's on something big. No, it's, it's not. It big. looked pretty decent. Mine's out. I think it might be stuck in the deucer. Nope. But I will. <laughs> Look at this rod. <laughs> Get the net. Okay, hold on, I need to stand up. Put this way over here. <laughs> oh, she's gonna get spooled. She's gonna get spooled. Tighten, tighten the drag up a little bit. Well, this only has like on and off drag, so. Have you seen what it is? Pull up Not and yet. reel down, pull up, reel down. That's gotta be a cat. I would think so. It's gotta be a cat. I just don't make any headway when I'm reeling. <laughs> oh my god. Oh, it's a, it's a big one too. Come on. Oh, that's like probably a, probably a 28, 30 inch cat. Got it. We got it. <laughs> Good job. All right, we'll get it out and then we'll. Hold on, I'm gonna just gonna get the hook so out. And that wasn't even that wasn't even too bad of a fight. You no, ready? I do miss the end of the rod though, so that I can. <laughs> this way, I'll show you. Yeah, she caught it. Lamp, lamp. 
look at it. Look at it. Look at it. Yeah. <laughs> Heck yeah. Here, Kelly. Educate, get the big fist out of kitty. 27 and a half. 27 and a half. 27 and a half inches? Yeah. Nice. <laughs> that's small. Oh, it's off. Oh, no, it's on. It's still there. Woo. Baby walleye. Number two. Number two. Even though those two fish are still a quarter the size of Callie's one, so. Um. Yeah, we got another sauger. Oh, mini drum. Aw, cute. Mini, mini drum. I actually wasn't expecting this at all. Multi-species day. Number three. I think these things are absolutely beautiful fish. Look at these things. That's awesome. Best thing about fishing on the Red River. You literally can catch anything. The only thing you can't catch is a bad time. Or trout. Or trout. If I could have one recommendation to the people that made Paw Patrol rods, make them a little bit more flexible. How are the kids gonna feel these fish? She's on again. This is gonna be her number two if she can get it in there. I also have a baby. Nice, a little baby drum. Baby drum. Ooh, you're covered in leeches. Yucky. That's got to be a sauger because it's right on the bottom. I'm guessing you don't need the net then. A little teeny one. Another walleye. Number four. But it's got like perch stripes. Did you see that? Yeah. These rods definitely don't have any medium size uh, drag to them. All or nothing. Ooh. Micro channel. Oh, oh is it? Or is it bullhead? No, it's nope. a channel cat. It's a channel. Oh, cat. Number five. Micro channel cat. That's cool. Oh. Ow! <laughs> Sorry. Oh. <laughs> Did it bite you in the face? No, in the back of the head, but now I've got fish oh. juice all up in my hair. Number seven. <laughs> Sorry. Got it? Oh, got one. Double. Let's hear those double drags, Callie. <laughs> Yours is going to be much bigger. Mine's small. I'm going to get this off. I don't know what number this is. I'll put the number below. Callie caught a drum. Just like that, ladies and gentlemen. Double header. Kids fishing rods. Just that easy. A six pound floral or a six pound mono. Double kid rod special, that's legit. Number four for me, I think. Number eight or nine for Mike. Is that the first sauger? No, I had one before. So the good thing about doing something like this is if you have those days where you're just not catching anything big or not catching your target speech, the species, why not go out and just catch a whole bunch of random fish? Absolutely nothing wrong with that. So we've gone through pretty much a bucket of minnows. So anybody that says you need a $300 rod, expensive line, expensive hooks, nah. What you got? My first sauger. Nice. Whoops. I think I got a sauger too. It pooped on me. Hey, calm down. It might. Oh, no. That's sauger. Mine's a saw guy. Three, two, one, and... Oh. Mine's a saw guy and it pooped everywhere. I guess we're gonna fish until we get rid of this tub. So that's gonna be the rules. We're gonna end when this tub of minnows is done. Got one? Oh, we're gonna be excited to see what it is. Oh, it's running. It is running. Good luck with this one. And it's on the bottom again. Mike. I think I'm bitten off. Oh, it's right here. What is it? A cat? Oh, it's just a kitty. Just a kitty. 21. Nice. 
That's awesome. Okay, so that was the school of cats. Weird. I guess so. There's a whole bunch behind us still. Really didn't think that they swam in schools like that. break off? It broke off, I think. Oh, I'm all tied up. Oh man, broke off. That was a good size one. I should not have tried to horse it. I should not have tried to horse that one. That'll be a cat. No, this will be like a drum, I think. Or maybe cat. It's a drum. Okay, now what I want to do is get rid of this. There we go. It's a little bit better. <laughs> it's just digging down. There, okay, here. Cat number three. Oh, hi. Okay. Did I think it's a drum? He's talking to me. <laughs> Callie's doing pretty well with these big fish, I gotta admit. Oh, that feels really funny. My rod, on the other hand, probably not so great. <laughs> Sorry to the kid that gets it. Is that a, what is that? It's an auger. Oh, if I get this fish, holy cow. What? That's a, that's a sturgeon for sure. What? Oh yeah, you can see it's pointy nose. And I'm now out of minnows, so I am switching plastic, I guess. Does your little one want a fishing rod? Hopefully I won't run into any of your lines here. We, uh, we did a little competition with, so you could, uh, fish better with a kid's rod and then after this we're just gonna give them away because <laughs> we have two here you can give one away to a smaller kid if you want to here give me this one here wow. nice. just careful they have yeah. two of them have so hooks on them so okay they're not attached so that's just the back okay there you go no, no problem, problem. <laughs> well, she she caught a big 27 inch cat on one of those have a good here. day guys well guys that is it for the competition i don't know who won but that doesn't make a difference anyway the biggest thing is we got those uh, kits and rods hopefully they're going to have some fun hopefully they'll be able to make some memories and that's the whole reason why we do what we do uh the other thing is go try something new go do this uh get ice rods go get some kids rods go give them out to somebody that you don't know the biggest thing is making sure kids are off their phone they're in the environment they're outside either on a boat or on shore enjoying their time making memories with their friends and family that's probably the best thing about it overall good job 27 inch cat on a kid's rod so don't go crazy on spending all this big amount of money if you're just getting out there go do the basics just make sure you guys are safe on the water make sure you wear your life jackets and until we catch you again keep it real